How's it going, YouTube? Oxy here, and welcome back. Thanks for the continuous support and you guys always tuning in and everything. As the video suggests, as the title, sorry, suggests, I'm just going to be going over the most interesting news of the week, you know, like the uh, best things, in my opinion, that happened, you know, in the world of gaming uh, over the past, well, weeks, I'll say, because I haven't done one of these in a while. But yeah, guys, I mean, you know, again, thank you for supporting, and yeah, well, without further ado, let's get into it. So, <laughs> this one, uh, I mean, uh, we all, we've all heard of it and everything, but essentially, Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach uh, got its gameplay trailer, and this is a console exclusive, surprisingly. It's a PS4, PS5 exclusive it will be it's on pc as well and i believe it's timed so eventually the idea would be right that it'll come out on the other consoles but for now it's an exclusive i don't know with you know with five nights of freddy's personally i'm pretty sure like most of you it's like old news to me at this point like the don't get me wrong first i'd say four games like first two were like you know obviously the big uh the big boom right and, like, uh, I like them, but, yeah, I think it's really, uh, Scott Cawthon, the creator. Believe it or not, most of these games, I think, if not all, were made by one guy, Scott Cawthon. Um, he really milked it, in my opinion. Like, this, if I'm not wrong, this is the ninth, that's right, nine, ninth game. Like, I don't know, it's too much. I mean, but, yeah. It look and I'll admit, yeah. Even with that, it does look interesting. Um, it is more. Uh, I won't say I use open world loosely, just because it is more free roam. There we go. That's a better a better term. It's more free roam, so you can, for the first time at, in the series, really, you actually get to walk around, kind of do like whatever you want. So, it's interesting to see what they do. But again, it's like you know. Five Nights at Freddy's, personally, uh, again, I'm I'm an Xbox player, so it not even being on the console is, like, you know, <laughs> not even a bad thing. But, yeah, um, that Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach coming out, uh, no release date, just a gameplay trailer. And, let's see, oh, now this one. So, another PlayStation exclusive, P VR specifically, and I'm actually really excited about this. Doom 3 VR edition is coming out on March 29th and I don't know uh I so for those that don't know Doom is my all-time favorite franchise so seeing Doom 3 brought back is like um in a good way too because so admittedly Doom 3 is the black sheep of the series it's um it, you know took a different approach artistically it was more survival horror horror than a traditional, you know, like, guns blazing action that we know, know and love Doom for. But VR, I honestly think, like, I honestly think that's a Doom 3 VR. Because, again, horror, like, for me, like, horror VR is, like, where it's at, you know? And, like, it's that I think it'll enhance it. So, I'm, I'll admit, I'm, I'm jealous of it, you know? Again, it's a PlayStation VR exclusive and comes out at the end of this month and... Hoping, hoping it turns out well and they do it justice. And it does include all DLC. So that includes Resurrection of Evil from back in the day. And the Lost Mission from the BFG edition. I do hope uh, they don't keep the like flashlight always on from BFG edition. I think that really ruins what the game was about. Because like, with the flashlight it was just more tense. You know, It was more like, oh damn, like... It's either you, you have visibility because the game was dark or, you know, you have a gun to protect yourself. And I don't know. I think in VR, the tension of like, you know, hearing the monsters and the demons and everything, like, I think it'd be nice. But yeah, guys, definitely want to check out if you have PSVR. And yeah, like, I think that'll be a good one. So, <laughs> funny enough, just all exclusives, right? Another, another one I am interested in. So, Odd Worlds. Soulstorm is coming out April 6th, and if you're not familiar with the series, the Odd World series were like, uh, plat they're like platformers. Uh, funny enough, they actually did start on the original PlayStation, 
It is a bummer to see this one being uh, exclusive, though, just because, uh, I don't know, the series was like, it, stuck, it bounced around. So it was the original, I think, first two were exclusives. But then the third game, uh, or like third game, uh, well, the next two actually, sorry, were Xbox exclusive, OG Xbox exclusives, uh, Munch's Odyssey and Stranger's Wrath. And, uh, I mean, and yes, those games have been re-released recently. I'm pretty, I think, uh, well, Strangers got ported to the Switch and, well, I, both of that, I mean, and Munch's Odyssey as well, so... Uh, but yeah, I don't know. Sucks that it's exclusive. I think that series r could use uh, a broader appeal. Because in this day and age, obviously, platformers, I would say, are probably like, a, you know, in the dying side, dying breed, if you will. So, I don't know. I mean, hey, hopefully Sony paid them good. But I think it would have done better, like, all you know, cross-platform. But another interesting game, you know, has a legacy, OG. And yeah. Uh, hopefully, hopefully it turns out good, but be on the lookout, April 6th. Now, another returning series that I actually got excited for, Hot Wheels Unleashed, has been officially announced, and it will be coming out September 30th by Milestone, the game, you know, that's the studio. And yeah, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but damn, do you guys remember Hot Wheels Beat That, 2007? I played it on the DS, but it came out on, like, pretty much, like, everything, like, 360, PS3, Wii, you know, everything of that generation, but, man, I love that game, and, like, <laughs> for those that know me, racing games, just, like, sports games, not a fan, I think they're weird, what I should say, sorry, R uh, simulation racing, so, like, Gran Turismo, Forza, Motorsport, garbage, you know, throw it in the bin, don't care, but if you're talking like Outrun, you know, Sega goodness, Burnout, I'm more, I'm more of the arcadey type, you know, like the more fun, like, and Hot Wheels beat that, man, that was a good ass game, like, I don't know, it was just cool, the perspective, you know, racing through living rooms and all that, like, and yeah, like, in that game, <laughs> this was back when you could unlock stuff and didn't have to pay DLC for a game, you know, con extra content. But, like, there were so many cars you could unlock in that game. But, yeah, uh, Hot Wheels Unleashed does seem to be in the same vein. So, I am very excited for it and hopefully it lives up to it. Did you guys play Beat That? Let me know in the comments and check it out if you haven't. I, I think it was a fun game for what it was. Of course, that was back in 07. You know, it's been... <laughs> God, you know, I was, like, what, 9? So, you know, like, I was the age for it, but great game and i hope the new one lives up to it and oh okay so the big the big news uh got revealed recently we're we're getting a new aliens game believe it or not aliens fire team has been officially announced for all major platforms no release date it's gonna it's targeting summer of this year 2021 but yeah guys we're getting a new aliens game and the cool thing is um I don't know, it just seems like something they've always should have done. It's like a horde mode. Basically, the best way I could describe it is uh, Left 4 Dead with an alien's coat of paint. So, you know, it's in the Aliens universe, but it's a three-team, three, three team, think of it like, I guess, like Apex, right? Where it's trios. So you and two other teammates, you know, battle the, <laughs> the Xenos on, like, I don't know, they showed a lot of locations. You even battle like Waylon and Yutani, the androids. Like, it seems, I, I'm excited for it because mm, some of you might be aware of the aliens, Fran, AVP, Predator, all that, right? All like just the Fox Zone stuff. <laughs> Their games have really been hit or miss over the years. Like, I think the last good aliens game was Alien Isolation. I mean, here, that game at launch was buggy and stuff, but. What it's become now with patches and everything, it's actually a great, like a decent game, like a good game. And yeah, that was in back in 2014, crazy enough. Like, think about that. It's been seven years since like a proper Aliens game. And I don't know, to see one just dropped out of nowhere, like announced like that, I'm personally excited. Gonna give it a shot. I mean, oh, okay. There was a recent Predator game made by like the... It'll find, like, the same team that did the Friday the 13th game, the Ace Symmetrical, like, you know, 
one person is Jason or in the in the Predators game case a predator and you battle obviously humans right the MP the good guys if you will trying to escape but that game was pretty hit or miss too like it wasn't that good from what the reviews and everyone said and yeah this one looks decent and I'm hoping for the best I mean I'm a I love aliens you know James Cameron goodness one of my all-time favorite movies you know let's rock it's game over man game over you know great <laughs> just great movie you know great franchise and uh the new movies god like covenant saw it with a friend man it, don't get me wrong like michael fassbender he's really good you know as david the android but just sorry it's just they could do so much more with that ip you know with that universe and i'm hoping this is a step in the right direction but that's about it guys those were the five most interesting stories to me and uh, of the week well past couple weeks but yeah guys let me know what you think do any of these interest you uh are you looking forward to it is there anything i miss let me know in the comments below but with that guys i've been your host soxy don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, tune in for my videos. I try to upload, keep a schedule every Tuesday and Saturday. But yeah, guys, thank you for watching. Take care.